Let's go back to austerity. Maybe some red wine will help. Which you, which you break. A lot of people would say, I'm going to give you a few pointers which you would are happy to talk about. Some would say there's no such thing as austerity. What has actually really happened is we've just had an inflationary increase, plus you've brought in the IMTT, IMTT. And effectively what you've done there is we all accept that a broader tax base is necessary. But what we're doing is we're now seeing an unnecessary burden on those who pay taxes anyway. Some people would just say, how about a flat tax, where we say we've got a tax, uh, intermediate money tax, transfer tax of 6%, 8%. That covers all the tax base that is necessary. That way you're capturing everyone. Instead, what we've now done is I'm a taxpayer, I'm a corporate, I'm paying tax, I'm paying POIE, I'm paying my income tax, I'm paying uh, QPDs that I've got, or my income tax, I've got withholding tax, etc. That is costing me, in addition to the, the, the transfer tax which you've introduced. So all you've done is you've just increased the tax on uh, companies, but government itself hasn't cut down spending. We know you talk about the 5% at the top level, but has government really cut spending across the board enough for us? Now, the, the austerity for prosperity, first of all, is about government itself, right? It's a gov government making sure that it can, you know, institute fiscal consolidation. And the phrase austerity for prosperity is nothing other than a re-expression re -expression of fiscal consolidation. Have we achieved fiscal consolidation? The answer is yes. How have we done it? Through expenditure containment and managing the, the, the finances. Is that not just an inflationary pro issue? Pro pro properly? No, not necessarily. At the same time, we have uh, 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 mobilized more revenues, uh, whether using the 2% the tax and you know, or fuel but tax. Perhaps it's it's yeah. part of the package. Yeah. When you do fiscal consolidation, you do both expenditure management as well as revenue collection uh, management. Per perhaps the two together yeah. then get you to a per fiscal consolidation yeah. path. And that's what we have achieved. Per perhaps that's how it's misunderstood because when the term austerity is used, and let's go back to the mm. Thatcher era, and of course that's probably where you're picking it from, okay, is when you use the term austerity, it means everybody suffers together. What that's why I don't. Make, I think maybe your linguistic, um, you know, use of austerity is you're trying to say government austerity, but unfortunately, what people out there see, especially when the IMIT came in, they said this is austerity. We have the the fiscal side is the, you know, the, the people paying the taxes are the ones who are being forced to pay more. So you're actually talking about government being austere, but the thing is, at the same time. On the, the revenue front, it impacts everyone. Yeah, we're on, suffering on, as, as we're taxpayers. Suffering. Yeah. You know, it, so as, as I've said, again, what we're going through is this fiscal consolidation. Once you are in a position where we think we have things under control, and, and we will be there, we'll be in that position this year. We're looking at actually cutting other taxes so as to, to compensate the fact that we're already, but, but, you know, brings yeah. quite a bit for the 2% tax and other taxes. So we'll be looking at corporate tax to see whether should we be reducing whatever, VAT. We're looking at all of those. You have to, you have to balance. But I think you like, you agree with me that even on the corporate side, we found that Zimbra, or when I came in, was owed three and a half billion US dollars, where VAT, pay, uh, PYE was collected but not remitted. And then you have the informal sector, which was not uh, paying taxes. So the 2% the uh, tax became necessary mm -hmm. to deal even with the formal registered businesses who are not paying their taxes. But, as but, well as yeah. the, the informal sector. But look, I, I so we're, think, we're, yeah, we're also yeah. solving that uh, no, problem. No, no, nobody disagrees with that. Nobody dis I think it's the quantum at which it was introduced that. I think 1% would have dealt with, uh, with um, a lot of the um, issues of exemptions and the rest of it. You know, like those exemptions, and we, Bongai started off by talking about the p politics, the political nature of your job. You've had to go and give exemptions to um, the guys down at the tobacco floors. You know, so I, I need their forex. You need their forex, right? But why? It's and, not and, politics. And you, and you've done Animal that, farm. And, and Some and of us are more equal than others. Yeah, no, no, I need their yeah, forex. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're not giving me forex. <laughs> and, and, and donors, it's the same thing too, because that actually angers me that you go and give an exemption to the donors. No, why should it? Why should it anger you? Because these are people who are contributing. But out they're going to pay regardless. No, they're out, going out, to pay regardless. No, no, but they're going see, to bring their money for Sakla and I die and this, that, and the next thing. These are privileged people. No, no, and no. you're just letting they're, them off the hook by frankly, saying, oh, you don't have to pay frankly, the 2%. Frankly, they're doing you a favor. They don't have to give us, send us taxpayers' money from their taxpayers outside. Mm -hmm. They are doing that out of charity. Let's be honest about it. They no, no, no but, 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 it's not, but the thing is, the people, yes, amongst the, the, the guys at the top, yeah. okay, the, from, a, from a country 
to country scenario, but the people who are mostly working in these NGOs, they send their kids to private school, they've got fleets of combis and the rest of it, okay, because they're getting that US dollar. They're not poor people, mm -hmm. and they've gone and made representation to you to get another exemption, you know, which, which I, which, okay, that's my beef. Anyway, on back to another but question. It's a, it's, a, it's a very important okay. beef. I like that beef because really it's, it's about incentives. We, we want that forex inflow. So we don't You're going to get it regardless. It. You're going to yeah. get it regardless. Yeah, yeah, They're going to bring the next cyclone. They'll come. Don't worry. <laughs>